Hello Brick Smarties, Brick Smarty here. So here's part 10 in my Lego Deep Sea Creatures series, Hungry Sharks. In all there are seven brand new and unique MOC Hungry Sharks. These sharks are characters in the Hungry Shark series of game, which includes Hungry Shark Evolution, as well as the more recent Hungry Shark World. Of course, there are loads of sharks in these games not featured here. But don't forget, I've already done a load of sharks in my previous sharks video that was Deep Sea Creatures Part 6. There are also some sharks that are extinct, like the Megalodon, and others that aren't sharks at all, like Big Daddy, which is a Dunkleosteus, an echo that is an Ichthyosaurus, that I already covered in my Prehistoric Sea Creatures video that was Deep Sea Creatures Part 8. Before I get any further into this, I would like to thank everyone for all their comments and suggestions. Please keep them coming. And if you enjoy my content, don't forget to subscribe to Brick Smart Workshop so you don't miss any of my new LEGO MOCs. And if there are any more hungry sharks you'd like to see, then let me know and I'll see what I can do. Okay, so the seven new MOCs are Spike, the Mega Mouth Shark, the Great Hammerhead, Mr. Snappy, Abyss Shark, Luminite, and Shark Jira. Coming up later in the video are two digital builds. This was such a difficult decision, but I chose the Spike and the Mega Mouth Shark to get you started, and if you'd like to see any of the other builds, just let me know. These MOCs are all 2 to 1 alternates of the LEGO 31088 Deep Sea Creatures sets. This means it takes two 31088 sets to build each of them. So if you have the sets, you can follow along with the video. If you'd rather work from instructions that look like this, you can buy them at rebrickable.com. Just follow the link in the description below. As you play through the Hungry Shark World game, various tiers are unlocked, from XS to XXL, then on to Apex and DNA Sharks. My new MOC Sharks featured in this video come from a range of different tiers in the Hungry Shark World game, and some high-level sharks from Hungry Shark Evolution, the previous game in the series. So although they don't all belong in the same game together, I've tried to fit them into the Hungry Shark World tier system so you can see where they would fit in. In fact, a lot of the sharks aren't sharks at all. Some are fictional and some are reptiles or prehistoric sea creatures. Spike is a tier S special shark in the Hungry Shark World game. Not the most powerful of sharks, but interesting and different. The game shark is purple, but who knows what the colour of the original shark really was. Spike is based on Stethacanthus, a small extinct prehistoric shark that lived from the late Devonian to late Carboniferous, dying out about 298 million years ago. Stethacanthus males had a peculiar anvil-shaped spiked dorsal fin that is thought to have been used as a clasper in mating rituals. The Megamouth Shark is a tier XL shark in the Hungry Shark World game. The Megamouth Shark is a rarely seen extant deep water species of filter feeding shark. It's the smallest of the three filter feeders, reaching lengths of up to 5.5 meters. In the Hungry Shark World game though, it doesn't have any problem eating large prey such as scuba divers and other sharks. The Great Hammerhead Shark is a tier XL shark in the Hungry Shark World game. The Great Hammerhead is the largest species of hammerhead shark, reaching lengths of up to 6 meters. They have a strange shaped head with their eyes out on stalks. The Hungry Shark World Great Hammerhead has been given a hump back and exaggerated eyes, and this is the look I followed with my MOC. Mr. Snappy is equivalent to an apex tier shark in the Hungry Shark Evolution game. Mr. Snappy is actually based on the Mosasaurus, an extinct marine reptile I featured in my Prehistoric Sea Creatures video, Deep Sea Creatures Part 8. Mr. Snappy has such a different cartoony look, I thought it was worthy of a completely different MOC. Abyss Shark is equivalent to a DNA tier shark in the Hungry Shark Evolution game. I love the split jaw of the Monster Mysterium from my Deep Sea Monster series, and the Abyss Shark just takes that concept to a whole new level, with his face and jaws opening up into six sections. It has an unusual dorsal and tail fin, so these are quite different from anything else I've done before. And the pectoral fins have claws, and almost look like they could be legs. This fictional shark lives in the deep of the Abyss, so I guess it doesn't need eyes to see, but you could always remove the first slope of the gills and stick an eye tile on there if you felt the need. Luminite is equivalent to a DNA tier shark in the Hungry Shark Evolution game. Luminite is a fictional creation that is luminescent and has a unique horn blade. It's quite long and has extra pectoral fins and spikes along its back. I really like the look of this beast, 
and had a lot of fun designing it. The blade horn was a bit tricky, but I was really pleased how it turned out. Shark Jira is equivalent to a DNA tier shark in the Hungry Shark Evolution game. Shark Jira is a cross between a shark and Godzilla that featured in the Hungry Shark Evolution game. In Hungry Shark World, it has evolved into Mecha Shark Jira, gaining a suit of power armour. Maybe a future project if there's much interest. This is the final shark to acquire in Hungry Shark World, being able to eat just about everything, as well as being able to walk and destroy buildings, apparently. I haven't got that far in the game myself. Right, so let's make a start with the spike build now.
That's the spike build. Okay, so let's make a start with a Mega Mouth Shark build.
And that's the Mega Mouth Shark build. If you'd rather work from instructions that look like this, you can buy them at rebrickable.com. Just follow the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. You made it this far, so why not give us a like or make a comment below? Click here if you'd like to see some more of the LEGO Deep Sea Creatures series, or here if you'd like to see some of my other LEGO digital builds. And don't forget to subscribe to Bricksmart Workshop so you don't miss any of my new MOCs.